Unboxing time. Today, I've got a new toy. It's a Wireless Go by Rose. This is a kind of prosumer level microphone. Great for things like YouTubing, podcasting, and also low level presenting. Maybe the kind of thing we wouldn't use for live events, but good for broadcasting and camera stuff like what we're doing now. So, as always, Rode gear comes in a really nice, very smooth, kind of lacquered cardboard box. Let's open it up and see what's inside. So, as I open up the top of it here, I don't have my meat cleaver today, so I'm just gonna have to use my, um, my stubby little claws here. Or my teeth. Okay, come on, Rode. I wanna see one of those zip things where you rip it and the cardboard comes open. I've just damaged the packaging, so straight away it looks like I'm not sending this back. As it happens, it's actually the second one of these I've got, so I, I kind of know it's a good bit of gear. Anyway, right, so we have a box in a box. Okay, Rode, come on, not necessary. What's going on? Okay, this doesn't feel like it's easy packaging. Okay, one box, now another box. Okay. Oh, they've given us a tear line here on this one here. Opening up inside, we have a nice little neoprene couch. It feels a little bit like a, uh, like a wetsuit, which is cool. Inside that, what have we got? Okay, we have one device with a bit of plastic film cover. And I'm gonna turn that on now. We have another device. Let's find out what that is in a moment. I'm gonna peel off that film, and then I'm gonna try and turn that one on as well. Okay, so inside the box, what have we got? This is a USB cable for charging, I presume, and we have another cable like that as well for charging. We've got a fluffy windshield for a lapel mic. Um, we call them dead cats in our, in our audio world because they look a bit like part of a dead cat. Um, and that goes in the microphone and limits how much noise you get from wind hitting your microphone. For some reason, they've given us two of them. I don't know why. And they've also given us this slightly curious TRS cable. So let's try and figure out what this does. Okay. It's a TRS to TRS. So quite simply, a stereo 3.5 mil mini jack. Now they do other ones, and watch out for this, because it's got a TRRS, it's got four bands. That's because it's left, right, microphone, common. Whereas this one is literally um, stereo mini jack to stereo mini jack. So what is that for? What this does is goes from the transmitter, I lie, from the receiver, the receiver, this device, into your camera or your computer or whatever. In fact, my brother yesterday was saying for his teaching, he's a really good teacher, he wants a better mic, and I said, buy one of these, and in theory, you should be able to plug this straight into your laptop and get the audio from the microphone. So, I'm gonna try and turn these on now, but it might be that they're not charged. Okay, if you look here, the screen's coming on. It's showing us the RX, which is the receiving battery power, the TX, which is a transmitter battery power, and it's also receiving signal. Now, this is interesting. There's actually a microphone built into, the, into this device, so you don't need a separate lapel mic, which is quite handy, actually. So in theory, I could clip this on here, and that would be my microphone. So Charlie, my brother, forget the lapel mic, just get two of these things. So that is the Rode Wireless To Go. Big fan, personally. I've been using it myself for a long time. Pretty affordable, uh, under 200 pounds, I think about 120 pounds, readily available, and they work on the 2.4 gigahertz spectrum as well, which means you're not having to deal with things like localized radio licenses, which is a bit of a challenge for us in the UK here. Um, there would, however, be potential issues around a lot of Wi-Fi activity, limiting the bandwidth you've got for the microphone to work. So, Rode Wireless Go system, really like it, great system, huge fan. Thank you, Rode, buy one, and good luck with your content.